Good afternoon, guys. David Hoffman here from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Tobago, my boy, Chef Jason Peru. Today, we're going to go on a sightseeing adventure. We're going to see a tomb, castle, arts and crafts, and we're going to have some street food, I'm sure. We don't know what to expect. We're just going to go from here, which is Black Rock to Plymouth, then to the, from there to Scarborough. We're just going to basically just take the island by storm, just stopping out, taking pictures, enjoying the sights. It's free range. We're not on any agenda. Just street vibes, good fun, and of course, you know, Good camaraderie. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. And you guys know me. You know I like to collect masks. It's one of my favorite things on earth. And right here we have primitive arts. Always support the locals. Always go shopping. As soon as you walk in, you can see beautiful turtle. You got like a jaguar. Over here some fish. Look at this right here. You just pull this string. A little macaw. Some macaw, yeah. And then right here we have clothing for kids. Hey, how you doing? Hi, I'm so you don't have any calabash masks, right? Oh. Nothing. You mean a um, mask like... Like they make a hole in it. Oh, look over so. Alright, so they got something. They got some stuff. Really nice stuff. Bigger ones here, brother. Check these out. Look at this one. Oh, that one's cool. That one looks like a pumpkin, you know? Almost like Halloween, right? Yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Huge. You can literally put it on. So nice, but very soft, right? Is it too fragile to like travel with? Ah, you should be able to travel with that. This one is actually a necklace. They don't have the masks included right here. Look at that. So it's fashionable, right? Yeah. So it's a little more practical. You could at least wear this one and go out in public. Okay, so I think I'm gonna take some earrings for my daughters. So I'm gonna take two of these. So 75 each, right? For the pair. So here she has bags, she has necklaces, she has calabash carvings, she has huge bags up there. Look at those bags, massive. She also has some postcards. I like this one. This is actually my favorite. I mean, the size is smaller, but it's cool, right? Yeah, it's rather unique. Mm -hmm. It's a distinct sort of feel to it, you know? Yeah, I personally don't want to get one of the, the ones that has like art on it. I'd rather have something masked that fits my mask collection, right? Most definitely. Oh, you collect masks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So, what, it's 290? Idea, yeah. Let's negotiate. These are like little egg maracas, right? Yeah, so what's the total price for the earrings and the mask? Okay guys, so the total price is 400, so 65 US for the two uh, earrings and the mask. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. And it's here and then everything's inside? Yeah. Okay. Everything, I put the earrings and I'm not going to Inside. Thank you so much, I appreciate yeah, okay. it. Take Ciao. care. Ciao. Yeah. I know your kids are definitely going to love that those earrings, right? For sure. But them charm bracelets with the shelves. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah. You want to see the mysterious tomb? I've never been there actually. It's a lot of uh, stories surrounding those tomb it is. You want to check it out? Plymouth is tiny. Look at this. Small houses. That's it. So it's small quaint. community. It's very quaint. It's very quaint. Sleepy village. Sleepy village. So we have a mystery tomb here. So this tomb is very good. That's it? Yep. And this is the mystery tomb. So the famous tombstone of Plymouth from 1783, its mysterious inscription baffles interpretation. You know, this is my first time seeing this, right? It's a bit macabre, but this is a tourist attraction, apparently. It has an inscription on it. Let's see. This is the mystery tomb. It has an inscription on it. What does it say? It says, within these walls are depositated the bodies of Mrs. Betty Stephen and her child. She was a beloved wife of Alex B. Stephen to the end of his days and will deplore her death, which happened on the 25th day, November 1783, in the year of her age. Wow. What was remarkable of it was that she was a mother without knowing it hmm, and a wife without letting her husband know, except by her kind indulgences to him. No one is a mystery. I just got mind boggled there, right? Right? I mean, 250 year old tomb here completely alone. It's surrounded by a tiny gate. You can come here. It's only a 20 minute drive from uh, from Plymouth Point. Correct, yeah. Right? And um, bring the family. Yeah, Check just pass by, see it. And now we're going to cross from Plymouth all the way over to Scarborough. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Now we're crossing through the center of Tobago. We're basically going from north to south, but it's like northwest to southeast. What do you yeah. yeah, through the hills, right? Yeah. So it's very lush, lots of green trees, really beautiful. Primarily, it's a geography lesson with you right now. Because I've never been to some of these sites nevertheless, and it's beautiful even for locals and myself to explore them. So northwest, heading to the east, I believe, uh, Fort King George is what we're looking for right now. So we're exploring at <laughs> 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 You think we'll find some uh, some vendors selling anything, oh, you think? Most definitely. I think yeah. we're there historical sites. 
there's probably good snacks, good food, and obviously great people that are doing positive things for the nation. Okay, perfect. So I'm sure we get good some good food. David Elliott was telling us that's how Tobago is. It's almost like these points, like a banana. Top, bottom, middle. It's, it's so crazy. But we'll get there. We have good intentions and a positive heart. That's what it's about. After a 15 minute drive, we're here at the fort, and right over there we have the Atlantic Ocean. This is the other side of the island. I'm gonna come to this thing. This is Fort King George. If you guys don't know about colonial days in the Caribbean, this is how they would build their fortresses, overlooking the sea in case there were some invaders, some pirates, right? Ships coming in, so, I mean, you can see these cannons here now. And this is the history of the fort. It was built in the 1770s. There was a short-lived French occupation, 1781 through 93. And then in 1793, the British forces came in. And at that time, it was the British King George III. That's why they named the fort Fort King George. Makes sense. Right now, it houses the Tobago Museum. And there's also a jailhouse, you said, right? Yeah, that's the Barracks Guardhouse. And we can actually hear that. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, beautiful views. Look at that. That's Scarborough, right? That's it. Most definitely. Small town. To the wow, looks great. Beautiful colonial building, huh? Oh my God. Incredible. Nice stones. You have some of this like mossy grass all over it. This tree's probably here for um, years and years and years and years throughout history. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's been there forever, right? Huge tree. I love this. Look at this. It's cool in here, huh? The barracks is so awesome. Stone work is really good, but I'm selling street and stores in my stomach. I'm hungry. Let's go find something to eat. So no Scarborough side because that's what the video is all about. Just eating Tobago. Let's go. It's not sleepy, like no one's here. Oh, it's the weekend. But that's, yeah. I thought it would be like more packed on the weekend, you know? The beaches. So here in Scarborough, right next to the water, there's a small hut or a small tent and it's called Wendy's Taste the Difference. And here they have amazing food. So they got some pork right there. What is that? salad, we got fries, I think I'm seeing fried rice underneath there. Look at the shadow bending sauce, the barbecue sauce, the garlic sauce in it. Taste the difference with Wendy's man, we just try some of this. So that's just barbecue on top? Yeah, we have grilled fish, barbecue chicken. Barbecue chicken right here. Looks amazing. Garlic cheese, potato pie, look how good that looks. Yeah. Alright, what's next? Try um salad. Alright, great. So this is uh what do you have in here? Green fig? Green fig, sweet potato and cassava. Ah. Oh. Yeah. I see purple, white cabbage, lettuce. Beautiful. Fresh salad. So it's cheesy garlic potatoes. Hi. So high, so you mash the potatoes, you Got add it. cheese, fresh garlic inside there. You probably some milk and you cream it up nicely. Put it to bake with cheese on top. With a nice serve. Amazing. We have a nice barbecue sauce. Oh, please. Made by Wendy. Taste for the friends. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Whatever you think. Wow, well, that's the fish. Okay, perfect. So we have. No, thank you so much. So we have blue marlin, and then the other one is pork, right? Barbecue sliced pork. Barbecue sliced pork. Wow. Look at this, guys. Huge platters. Okay, so how much is it? So? Yeah, let's take away 55 alone, and this one I'll give a compliment Yeah, you sure? Yeah, I'll give it a compliment Thank you so much. So you're Wendy, right? I'm Wendy's taste of the friend. Welcome to Wendy's taste of the friend. The cab on the milk for the road. So when are you guys open? Every single day or a certain From time? Wednesday to Saturday. Wednesday to Saturday. 12, 12 Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, Thank you guys. Right. Thank you. Right. We'll see you after. So he's gonna put so you're putting garlic sauce on it. Yeah. Because it's basically loaded. We're just adding a little more. You want some tamarind? Yeah, of course. Beautiful. Always tamarind. We're in Tobago, always tamarind. Let's do this. What do you want to do first? Pork? Into the pork, brother. Dude, it's like how beautiful this is. Oh, so soft and tender, right? Super soft and tender. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful here. Mm. Mm. That's pork shoulder. Oh my gosh, so meaty. Mm. I love this. I love it. Man, nice smokiness from the grill. It's on the pit. But wow, the sauce. So it's nice. It's probably some guava she has inside it. Nice and sweet, right? 
It's absolutely unreal, man. I did not expect this. There's a cool thing about Trinidad and Tobago. You find small places like this all around the road, you know? Pig salad and the potato pie. Mm -hmm. mm. So good, right? So this is the provision salad. Green fig, sweet potato, potato, breadfruit. Mm. Oh, so creamy. Nice, soft, very clumpy. Lots of different things in here, right? Carrots, that pizza thing. Mm. That is good. That's so good. This is typical Sunday food. Sunday food, right? You eat this after lunch and you just slide on and sleep. <laughs> And here we have like straight up fat, right? Look at that, yeah. Pull that out. Nice layers. Ooh. That's great. where the love is. Mm -hmm. What about the cheese and garlic? I don't know, man. I have sauce. Kill it. She's killing the game with that sauce. Wow. The mix, right? The garlic, tamarind, the barbecue as well. And this is um, cheesy garlic potatoes. Cheesy garlic potatoes. They almost remind me of like a. Um, Say like mashed potatoes with this nice crust on top, basically, Correct, yeah, right? Yeah, like a grout, a whole grout. Oh yes, yes. Look at that. Mm. That's good. It's all good. My God, this is like the perfect Sunday meal. This reminds me of food I've had in southern parts of the United States, in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. You know, home cooked meals. You got that great Creole influence that going on right mm -hmm. now. That's so important. Mm. To be going to cook it out of love. Oh yeah, and the salad so fresh. Mmm, crunchy. Simple food, but done well, right? Yeah. Dude, I just mix everything with the sauce. The sauce is cool. Next up, we got the Blue Marlin, right? Marlin fan? This is insane. I'd rather be a Marlin fan than a Miami Dolphin fan. No, I'm joking. <laughs> ah! <laughs> They're doing so bad this year. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Mmm. I love the seasoning in that. It's crazy. So good. I mean, this is insane. I never had like barbecue and all these sauces on fish. I like that. Mm -hmm. I not love it. Of, not much of a fish person, but as you guys could see, mm -hmm. a lot of character in that piece of fish. A lot of character, very meaty, mm -hmm. very thick. It's lean too, mm -hmm. but not dry. Mm -hmm. Not dry at all. Oh, you're going in for the pigeon piece? You're going for the pigeon piece, I'm mixing it up with nice. some of this. Yeah, rice. What is this, like a macaroni and cheese or something? Macaroni salad. Mm. Mm. What's awesome is that everything starts to blend together, right? Everything harmonizes. It's like a symphony. Sources work with the macaroni, with the rice, with the peas. That's oh, how wow. food in the Caribbean is. You mix everything together really nicely. Mm -hmm. Creates a flavor experience here. Sorry, I'm so mesmerized by food. Wow. Mm. One last bite. I love this, bro. I love this one. When these things. She's got the taste up, right? Taste the difference. This wasn't bad, right? $55 for this mm -hmm. whole box, and we two of us could eat from this. Yeah, $55 for each, so like $8 each. Pretty much. Pretty good deal. I'm gonna keep going a little bit. Dude, amazing food right here. And that's how it is, especially as you traverse through the island. I mean, we were going through sites. We just stopped, we saw this place. Thousands of vendors, a lot of great food establishments doing top quality food throughout Trinidad and Tobago. I love this island. Mmm! Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, mm. So good. Right? It's, it's too good. Through. I can't stop eating this plate. It is ridiculous. Mmm! So good, right? Mm -hmm. Who wants this layer of fat? It's ridiculous. You know, I hate when people tell me, you should never mix food. I'm like, no, you need to mix everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what you did the other night, right? Mm, man. Sometimes it Maybe works. yesterday, but you did it all. Dude, it works sometimes, right? Try everything, and then if you want, start mixing. Mm. Mm. Save some space. All right. Nice, thank you so much. Appreciate it all. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you. Tell Wendy, thank you. Hey, thank you so much. All right, let's go, guys. That was an amazing little liner, I guess. Little, little liner. <laughs> like it's uh, 5.30 right now, starting setting. Beautiful place. Now we're going down to Pigeon Point. That's where we're staying. And we're gonna see if we see anything on the way. If not, that'll be it. I'm, I'm hoping we see something. I think we will. I think so. This is the main highway in uh, Tobago, the Jordan Highway. 
pretty much you can't get lost once you find yourself on this. It's pretty much people. <laughs> <laughs> It's a pitching point now, see what's going on. Yeah. See if we get something to eat on the way. If not, we'll see what happens. Well, we made it home and we didn't see anything else on the road, so <laughs> that's it. It's getting a bit late, so I guess everybody's yeah. uh, tagging up at this point. My belly's still full, nevertheless. Yeah, yeah, no, that was awesome. So we saw the mystery tomb. We crossed over, you saw the Scarborough Fort, which is Fort of uh, King George. Yeah. And then we went to Wendy's Taste of Difference. That was the best part of the, of yeah, the day, we right? Yeah, the barbecue pork with the cheesy potato pie. Mm -hmm. We had the pigeon peas with the marlin. It was blue marlin grilled with a bunch of barbecue sauce, right? Yeah. Phenomenal. And we had the green seasoning in there, which is mm -hmm. so, so trendy out today. That's so trendy. That's the DNA of the <laughs> So trendy. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video in Tobago. If you did, thumbs up, comment below. And uh, I'll see you in the next one here in Tobago. Let's go. And look at. <laughs> <laughs>